What's going on guys? Red Like Apples here. Today we are going to be trying something new. We are going to be playing the... Uh, Try it again! Woo! Today we're going to be playing a game called The Park. It is a horror game that I got off of Steam. Uh, it is a- I know, right? A horror game? Like, what? It's a psychological thriller. So, it's not a survival. It's not a run away from things as fast as you can. It's not a shoot your way through a horde of zombies. It's just a experience it as you go through a type of game. So, we're going to be giving this a shot. Let's get to getting, my friends. I try not to talk through the dialogue or cutscene so you can get the most out of the experience. So, I will shut up. The park. Loading. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. I'm Bear? a woman. Whoa. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. I have a kid, he looks just like me! Nice! Okay, sorry. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Alrighty. Fifth is a pretty game. Now, the question is, do I have feet? Drum roll. I have- whoa. <laughs> that turning action, though. Okay, now there's my son. Hello, boy. How art thou? That is a nice wagon. It's a very pretty game. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please whoa. make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Before what's my son doing? Is he still in there? I think I see him in there. I don't know, whatever. Forget about my son, just leave him in cars. It's the 70s. Just in this plaque. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. If you want to read through it, go ahead and pause the video. I like to keep going through the games. What? I have hands. Sorry. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. My son just slipped through a bunch of gates that were already locked, so what he's gonna do is unlock them for me so I could get through them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Over here. Is he running up the stairs? He's riding the escalator? Oh, okay. Ah, yes. Uh, great. Yeah, don't need to see that. Hey, get back here. Boy! There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Whoa, okay, my son's gone. And I am Wait up there for mommy, Callum. That is creepy. Come back, Callum. I can't go back down. I guess we're going this way. Oh, God. The 
Park. What happened here? All right, so we can run, but I think it's just to make us go faster. Oh, hey, get back here. I swore I heard something. Let's see where we're at. All right, we are there. It's literally just one giant tree. It doesn't look like I can go that way, so let's go this way. That is a creepy face. Are we supposed to? I think we're supposed to go in here. I want to go in here. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Very smart woman. I was I getting? I guess because it was too dark? I was getting freaked out because it was too dark? Okay. That is a giant squirrel. And that's a shoe. I think this belongs to Calum. Okay, I took a shoe. You're so creepy. Are you f Oh, you are watching me. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Uh Look at those red eyes. They're following me. Oh, that's creepy. What is this about? Okay. I heard something. That's creepy. Come on, mommy. Oh, did he take the ride? I keep hearing noises behind me. Apparently, we're going in. around. It's pretty. It's a really pretty game. I look around, but I can't look behind me. I can't move. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Okay. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest <gasps> and abandon them there. What was that? No, my wife. I cannot do that. Alan, why did you the go? Man. Then we will all fall starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. 
I would do that too. What is that? The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into that a the forest. Before they leave, oh, he's breathing. the mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they oh, it's him. no more food that day. Hi. Oh, Clever it's got goosebumps. Oh, it's a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. What's up? When they're far away from you, them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Oh. Oh, okay. After receiving a thorough scolding from okay, their yeah, parents for getting lost there. in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of bread. Sucks because I can't even see what's hidden in the boat. But hungry eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Why is this a necessary part of the game? The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Uh -huh. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. Just a second. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. They're stupid. Fuck the ah. inside the house. The hell was that? Changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage <laughs> and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. That's not very nice. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Yay! We won!
And then, oh, there's because more. even oh. children can't survive on sweets, what? they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Oh god. Okay. Um... The f fuck? Y'all want to get off this ride now, please? Thank you. Uh, it was very fun. Um, definitely takes... It's a small, small world from Disneyland. Uh, takes the cake from that... Please, get me off the fucking boat. Get me off the boat, get me off the boat. Off the boat, please. Off the boat. Okay, so we're back where we started? Yeah, get away from me, stupid duck. Oh, God. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's going to be a multi-part walkthrough, because apparently this game takes quite a bit to complete. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you want more, and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description for my buddy Dan, who I played with quite a bit. And also a link to a new person. Uh, this is a coloring book designed, created, artistically crafted by uh, a lady named Jennifer. I'll leave a link to her channel below. A really cool lady. Makes a lot of cool art. But with that being said, I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay healthy. Keep those doctors away, my friends. See ya! Slice, slice.